Hello and welcome to another MoTeC webinar. My name is Mike Shield and today I'll set up a display using Display Creator. First on the agenda is to go into Dash Manager and create a demo DBC file. After that I'll go into Display Creator and into the Communications tab where I'll import that DBC file. I'll go to the Channels and Functions tab and I'll apply a filter. I'll fill in the display name, set the min and max values, fill in the preview values. I'll also go to the Pages tab where I'll assign channels to graphics and I'll introduce styles for both fonts and colours. So launch the version of Dash Manager that relates to your hardware. Say so File, New, Demo and hit OK. Launch the display setup and here I want to remove the internal display fixed layout. Then I want to add an internal display using Display Creator. For page selection, I want to assign Display Page to be the mechanism to change pages. Hit OK. Go back into Display Setup and start to add the channels that we want to see in Display Creator. My philosophy here is it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So click on the first in the list, hit enter, then down arrow and just keep doing that until all the items in the list have been added. Once you've done that, hit OK and again say File, Save As and I'll call it Webinar. And you can close Dash Manager. That completes the Dash Manager component of today's agenda and we're going to move on to Display Creator. File, New and choose from the drop down list the relevant hardware. In the Templates tab you have Color Style where there's a whole range of different styles. At this stage it's probably easier just to stay with the default. You can reassign it once you're in the project anyway. Then you'll see there's all these different page styles that you can choose between. Here I'm going to pick page 1 and holding down control I'm going to pick a secondary page in page 9. That creates our project with the two pages that we've selected and it's also done it in the color scheme that we've selected. If I click on channels and functions you'll see there's about 30 preloaded channels and when I go to the comms you can see this tab is a blank canvas ready for me to import the DBC file which I'm going to do hit open and OK. Back at the channels and functions tab you'll see that a whole heap of new channels have been added based on that DBC file. If I go to Pages, I'm going to start assigning channels to these graphics. If I look at Groups here, so for instance Group number 1, you'll see in that group there is a text element and a channel value element. Now both of those things are based on a channel. You can see here you can have text that's based on a channel or just as text and you also have a channel. If, it, if I, at this level, at the root level of the folder, I can reassign the channel that everything references. It will also work for bars and dials, etc. The only thing that it won't work for is where I have a switch that has conditions and I use channels in those conditions, they won't be reassigned. But here I'm going to reassign these elements to fuel pressure. So simply highlight that and type in fuel pressure and you'll see my text item and my channel have both been updated. So I'm going to do that for a few others. Let's just do it for these. Engine oil pressure, number three. We're going to go for engine oil temp. Up the top here, let's go for battery. Volts. 
in the middle we'll go for throttle and down here I'm going to go for speed across the bottom I'm going to go for reference lap time and on the opposite side I'm going to go for running lap time in the middle here I want to go for gain loss running and then across the bottom here I've got two bars I'm going to turn those two bars off and turn the single bar on and then I'm going to assign that single bar to gain loss running you start to get a sense of what the uh, display is going to look like when you get to this stage here things that I want to fix I'm not happy with the double label here for gain loss running and also this being capitalized for speed and everything else has labels that are title case so first thing I'm going to do is delete this label so just drill down and hit delete and now I'm going to reassign all of these labels to be uppercase to do that I go back to the channels and functions tab from this options filter I'm going to show used only just to make this easier to sort okay so for instance ground speed we're seeing speed in uppercase now if there was nothing in here we would see basically the name of the channel but seeing as I want it uppercase I'm going to go through and fill them in so battery volts all I do is where it's in its display name field I'm going to type in battery I'll also fill in these minimum maximum and preview values so here I'll put in an 8 hit tab 24 hit tab and 12.8 hit tab go to engine oil pressure type in engine oil pres maximum for that 690 and a preview value 482 will do engine oil temp maximum 140 preview value 110 engine RPM all filled in 2800 as a preview now it's good to note that here this value here only affects channel text values it won't update your dial or your bar so just where there's a, a channel text value fuel pressure update the label a maximum of 690 a value of 365 gear I'm going to select 5 as my gear ground speed all filled in with a preview of 210 lap gain loss I'm going to make that just gain loss minimum minus 2 maximum positive 2 and a preview of 0 0.20 minus okay lap gain loss reference lap time fill in the display name and a maximum of say 2000 seconds and 144.3 seconds running lap time type in the display name maximum of 2000 seconds and I'm going to put 144.5 last of all throttle maximum value of 100% and 68.5 for my preview okay now if we jump back to the pages tab you'll see 
all of our things have been updated all our labels are in uppercase all of our value preview values are in the only thing I want to do now is change some of the decimal places now I can do that by drilling down click click and I can see here decimal, decimal places of 2 hit 0 and hit tab that will update it click in 0 tab drill down 0 tab battery I'm going to make that 1 throttle I'm happy with speed 0 tab ok so now we're pretty much there with our look uh, two things I want to still do first of those is this value I want to be larger to make it so that all these things sort of feel like they live together so I'm going to pick that channel and you can see here that it's based on a text style not just a font now if I change or edit which I can do using this pencil icon here that will change every instance of channel base center align so on this other page that would become bigger as well so rather than edit it I'm going to create a new in here I'm going to make this one called channel big base and I'm going to make it 100 point say OK now rather than being 385 from the top I'm going to increase that down to 397 just to give it a bit of space I'm now happy with that look the only thing I want to do here is update this text so where I've got left I want to type gain and instead of right I'm going to put loss now I could go and do the same type of work to this other second page but I'm just going to delete it okay so now we have this page I'm ready to simulate but before that I have to save so file save as and I'll just call it webinar okay go to the simulate tab and hit So this is building the module for simulation, checking that everything is validates. Here we can look at engine RPM. So select it from your list of channels and you can see the 0 to 8000. These are the numbers, the mins and maxes that you filled in. And you can see what it would do. Now you can see here that our engine RPM is has a switch that when we reach 7000, the bar changes color and we also have a recolored graphic as well which I can show you how to do in a subsequent uh, webinar uh, let's also look at lap gain loss scroll down lap gain loss running now you can type in the value here so minus one for instance will show you how you get the value and also the bar okay so we've seen that it simulates well so we'll stop that and we'll go back to the pages and we'll look at recolor and fonts so recoloring styles let's drill into the label here you can see this little calligraphy pen that tells me that it's a global color so here if we hit the drop down you'll see that that color is called label I can add a new color or I can edit a color so I'm going to edit the label color to purple let's say because my team is purple and you can see that that updates across the whole of the display I can also do that back here in the settings tab where you'll see you have your textiles and your color styles so scrolling down here double A label we can click on that and hit edit and assign it to blue for instance hit OK go to pages and now all the labels are blue we also can do more global changes 
So if we go back to settings and instead of our default orange and black, I can select a different one. So for instance, blue and white. So blue accents on a white background. Hit OK. Now when I go to the page, it updates to the new blue and white setting. I'm going to go back and just change it once more and I'm going to go red and black so red accents on a black background and there we go so we can also in our settings tab change individual font styles so we have alarm text and bar text and gear text or we can reassign our default font which will change any of those that reference our default font so for instance here, I'm going to take Arial and change it to Comic Sans. And now if we go to Pages, you'll see that that's updated through everything. Go back, and we can change it back to Arial. And there we go. And that concludes today's webinar on setting up a basic display.